and welcome to a new video about WebRTC. This time we're going to talk about how to integrate the webcam image into our WebRTC application. And we're doing it the easy way by using the simple WebRTC asset, which is already available in the Unity Asset Store. And there is 30 minute long intro video on the channel. It's linked on the right upper side. Make sure to watch, the, watch it beforehand. And there is also a GitHub repository. The links for the GitHub repository and the asset store are, as always, in the description box. And make sure to check it out. I'll totally appreciate it if you would leave a good rating on the Unity Asset Store if you're using this asset and if you like it. And also, please like and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it. But nevertheless, let's get started with the webcam texture. So whenever using a webcam, we in Unity, we should use the webcam texture and the documentation page of Unity is also in the description box. And it's actually, although it seems a little bit hard here to do all the permission stuff, really easy to use. So let's open Unity. I already imported the simple WebRTC package here. And first of all, I'm creating a new material. I'll call it webcam texture and the shader is an unlit texture. This material will be used to display our webcam image. And the next thing is I'm creating a script. I call it webcam to camera. And this script does nothing except having a webcam texture, a renderer, and I'm checking if there is a webcam that can be launched. I launched the webcam with the default settings. There are a lot of settings you can uh, do here, especially when having multiple webcams or for instance, on a smartphone, having a back face to front face and so on. And I'm just setting the material main texture to the webcam texture. So this makes sure that the webcam texture is rendered on the material. And then I say webcam texture to play, to play the image actually. And on disable, I'm going to stop the webcam texture. And that's everything we need to display our webcam image, webcam stream on a material. And back in Unity, let's make it easy. I have the single client stun connection scene here, which is a sample scene of the asset. And first of all, let's deactivate the client cameras. We don't need it here. And on the client stun connection, right click prefab unpack completely. I already did that. And let's create a second instance of the stun connection and make sure to first of all change the local PID. And I'm just changing it to blue here. And on the next step, I just switch to game view so that we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to activate the client video canvas and move the elements here, minus 200, move it to the left side. No, minus 800, for instance, and the video receive two like over here, minus 400. Doing the same on the second connection. First, let's unpack it, prefab, unpack completely. Video canvas, let's go over here and move this to, let's say 200 and this one to, and 600. So on the left side, we have our webcam stream center on the, on the right side is the receiver. And the next thing is to go to the first client. This will be, uh, let's call it webcam. Let's call it in game. Let's activate the streaming camera here for short and move it to set minus five. And I already did that before and I just clicked here, right click 3D object quad and placed the quad 0 0.87 in front 
and told it that the X scale is 1.8 and removed the mesh renderer and I added the webcam to camera script here. So we can see the setup here. The streaming camera is in the back by five. There is a quad as a child used to fill it. If you just set it to one, back to one, you can see that the quad down here is just a quad. But let's leave it at 1.8 to actually fill the view part of the camera. And I reduced the bar view clipping plane to one, just as a small optimization mechanism. So this script, the webcam to camera script, you can see it again here, will now take care of our webcam texture, which will now stream to this quad. This camera will record the quad. And as soon as this camera will establish a video connection to the other WebRTC client, our webcam stream will be shown there. So I'll deactivate it again. Everything is in the way how it's been before. I'll just let the video canvas active. And if I now click on play, make sure to set the web connection active to true. There we are now connected to a WebSocket connection, already set up everything, WebSocket server, stand server, and so on. Create the second connection. Now our WebRTC connection is done. And if I now tell the first client to start the video transmission, we'll see that there is a video transmission preview on the left side, which is my webcam sender and a video receive on the right side, which is my receiver. And if I do the same on the in-game, we'll see that the in-game is now here previewed. And they are received. So the webcam and the in-game image is sent over the network and everything is working with WebRTC. And that's how you simply set up everything for your webcam to work with WebRTC. And if you do that multiple times, you can easily create a video conferencing application. I hope that helps. And again, thank you very much for the YouTube members who support the channel on a regular basis. And if you're not already a member, consider to join or at least like, subscribe and comment if you like the content. And then I'll talk to you later and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.